Hello, good evening, good morning, whatever the fuck time of day it is. Today, I'm going to give you an in a nutshell tutorial of DayZ. Some people might be struggling to play the game, struggling to know what the hell they're trying to do, or what it is they're supposed to be doing, so hopefully this will sort you out. So the first thing you want to do, is obviously when you're loading up a game, you're going to get your server list. Now there's two things to take into consideration here on the server list. Uh, some of the servers that you will join are public and some of them are private. Now what that means is if you join a private lobby like this one I've got highlighted, your character will be saved to that specific server. So if I, if I join this private, I, I get progress on my character, like I get gear and I get weapons, and then I jump into like the public, my character will not be passed over. Same goes for if I join this private one here, get gear, and then jump into a different private one, the, my character's gear will not be transferred over so private servers are individual and you cannot transfer gear from one to another now the public servers on the other hand you can transfer gear so as long as you go into the public servers it will use the gear that you've previously got on different servers and you can transfer it over so you can use a low populated server for example like something with like I don't know four people in it go get gear, gear up, get some good stuff and then log out and then join a highly populated server and then you'll have more chance of meeting people and doing it ever, whatever you want to do I mean maybe you don't want to meet people but I tend to enjoy meeting people anyway let me give you a few more tips when we load up the game okay here we are games just loaded in this is the first screen you're gonna see well obviously not this screen but it's gonna be similar first thing you want to do bottom right hand side of your keyboard your enter button press that that will put you into third person unless you like playing in first person I mean some people do but anyway I like third person so you press the enter key bottom right hand side the first thing you want to do really is find supplies find weapons find food that's what Daisy is all about um, when playing solo obviously you have to sort of think everyone is hostile <laughs> Oh, what the fuck is this? Is new? An M65 field jacket. Okay, this is this is new. Okay, so I'm going to now take my shirt because I've equipped this jacket. I don't need my shirt anymore, so obviously tear into rags and stack them to save on inventory space. Every piece of clothing that you find in Daisy will have inventory space, so you can find trousers like I'm wearing these jeans with four inventory slots, but you can find um, cargo pants with slightly more slots. Um, whenever you want to pick something up you can either look at it and press F or you can look at it and press middle mouse click or you can walk near it press tab and click and drag. Okay there's a zombie up here approaching a zombie you'll see zombies everywhere in this game. Um, the AI of the zombies is a little bit better than it used to be. It used to be so bad, man. So it's a little bit better now. So the best thing to do is just just stay away from them. If they do attack you, just aim for the head. And the way you aim for the head on zombies is you actually aim above their head. As stupid as that sounds, I'll, I'll show you here. So get your fists up. So you want to sort of like aim above the head. If you have a look at my cursor, my cursor is actually above her head which is really stupid but for some reason that cursor there doesn't actually correspond with where your fists are as you can see it's fucking stupid good one Daisy okay the next thing I'm gonna quickly talk about is your hunger and your hydration levels now in Daisy obviously you have these two main issues to deal with <laughs> let's call them issues because they are fucking annoying um, also, you may wonder how you heal on Daisy. How do, how do you regain health? The only way that you regain health is you eat and you drink until your hunger and your hydration bar turns bright green. Not just dark, dark green, because if, if you eat a little bit of food, it turns sort of dark green. If you eat lots of food, it will turn bright fluorescent green. Now, if you get your hydration and your hunger fluorescent green, then you will get another stat that says healing. And that is basically how you heal in Daisy. Camera angles can be really helpful um, for a new player that doesn't know. 
all you have to do while you're sprinting so to sprint you hold shift and W and while you're sprinting if you just hold alt you can actually turn your camera while you are running instead of moving your whole character to look who's behind you or look who's to the side of you it's much easier just to hold alt and also you can double tap alt for it to lock the camera so then you can just take your finger off alt altogether and freely move it if you no longer want a weapon or item all you have to do is put it into your hand you and hold G and it will throw it okay that was just the worst animation <laughs> <laughs> alternatively you can just open your inventory with tab click and drag you can drag your weapons onto your interface by pressing tab highlighting a weapon clicking and dragging down to the bottom interface slot and then them slots correspond with the numbers on your keyboard so my axe is now in slot number one so if I press number one in my keyboard it will draw my weapon there is lots of crafting you can do in Daisy um, there's many things that you can create through crafting I'm going to show you a quick one now I'm going to chop down this tree there we go okay so I've just chopped that down I've got a couple of logs I'm only going to need one so I'll put my axe back on my back and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop these into sticks I'm going to add my rags to the sticks and you can either make a torch you can craft a fireplace or you can make a splint I'll make a splint real quick so what the splint does is if you break your legs you can use the splint and your legs will be fully healed which is just fucking stupid but never mind so there we go there's a splint it takes two bandages and one wooden stick okay well thanks for watching guys and um, hopefully that will give you the basics that you need to start off on your own adventures in DayZ I didn't want to make it a long winded video obviously there's tons and tons of content to this game that I haven't explained but they are the main basic things that will get you started in DayZ please subscribe um, and like the video thanks guys